We'll return to our coverage of the United States Gymnastics Championships in just a few minutes. But earlier today, we spoke with the woman who set the standards against which Kim Zameskel's accomplishments will ultimately be judged. One-time Romanian star Nadia Comaneci now lives in Venice, California, tours with a professional gymnastics show, and appears throughout the Western world in underwear advertisements. We asked her about her memories of Montreal 1976 and Moscow 1980. Well, there are very emotional moments that happened in 76 and also in 80. I, uh, well, I remember the best. I remember how excited the crowd was and how much support I received from everybody. And this, this a different feeling inside when you, when you compete. That's absolutely great. And you created a whole new level of artistic accomplishment in the sport. What is your evaluation of the gymnasts of today? How good they are compared to what you were doing in 1976 and 1980? Well, I was good at my time, but they are unbelievably good now. The difficulty is very high, and uh, there are lots of great gymnasts today. And one of them, the world actual champion, is Kim Zumaskel. Uh, American who is coached by my former coach Bella Caroli and um, when I look at them uh, how they perform today they are they warm up with the things that I did in 76 this is just a warm-up for them it's like unbelievable difficult Kim Zemesko follows as you suggest in the same path that you followed in 1976 with Bella Caroli that Mary Lou Retton followed with Bella in 1984 how does she compare now in terms of her maturity and her ability to grasp all of this to what you were like in 76 or what Mary Lou was like in 1984? I believe she will be 1992, Kim Zumasco. And uh, because I not only believe in her, but I believe a lot in, in Bella. Everything he is touching is like doing miracles. Nadia tells us she had no idea what an impact she had made on American society in 1976. Only in the past few years of living here has she begun fully to appreciate that. For Zemeskel, of course, having been born and raised here in the United States, those pressures and privileges will be much more apparent. Right now, let's rejoin our coverage of the United States Gymnastics Championships. <laughs> 